All right, welcome back to SF Forex, everybody. We are in the war room, and joining me today is Bruce Boxleitner. He, of course, stars as Babylon 5's Captain John Sheridan. Also, John Copeland is here. He's the producer of Babylon 5. And Jerry Doyle, who plays security chief Michael Garibaldi. Guys, thank you so much Our for pleasure. joining us, taking yep. time out of your busy schedule. Let me get to my first question. Jerry Doyle, yes. favorite sci-fi project of all time, though. I dream a genie. I dream a genie? <laughs> <laughs> big Barbara Feldman fan? Yeah. No, no, big. Uh, who, not Barbara, Barbara Eden. Not Barbara Eden. <laughs> Jerry Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara Eden. Wow. Bruce Boxleitner, your favorite sci-fi project of all time. Uh, aside from a film I did called Tron. <clears throat> I saw, yep. which was terrific. Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. The Star Wars saga. Why? Um, John. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's true. And, and the whole no, in, in short, in short, in uh, short, George Lucas created a universe that uh, at once was very familiar to, especially the film buffs. I mean, we had you had sort of western, you had knights in armor, magic, and all kinds of things, plus spaceships. Um, and he brought that all together in a great creative mix and created something that's very believable, and it never happened. John Copeland, so. your favorite sci-fi project of all time? Alien. Ah, uh, that's real true. quick, why? Uh, because it had uh, the, uh, it was it was more than just a, a science fiction. It was there was tension, there was drama. It was a horror. It was uh, kind of a, a horror, horror story. Flick, right? Yeah, so kind of a horror flick. It was also a very used and dripping, you know, spaceship. It was mm -hmm. you know it was unlike we had seen, you know, space and spacecraft depicted before, even though that, uh, you know, Lucas gave us a, the used look of yeah, space, used space yeah. uh, this was more like the recycled uh, look of space. I have to throw in, in one also, Blade Runner. Oh, Blade Runner. Oh, yeah. I, think, I think that's influenced our show a great deal. Yeah, Blade Alien, Blade Runner. Definitely has. Uh, it's a, uh, our show has, has got some darkness to it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And well, our, our universe is not a safe place to live right. in. Like, uh, like, like, like oh, are you well, kidding? <laughs> well, like, I would say like, this, like the Star Wars universe, or not Star Wars, but the Star Trek universe is a, is, is a place that has a utopian society on Earth. The, you have the Federation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's the, the future is, is kind of assured for me and kind. We haven't gotten there yet in Babylon 5, and I think that's part of no, we haven't. the, we can't the, part of the attraction. <laughs> we can't go home. We can't trust future. anybody that's, that's back home. All right, how about this? Uh -huh. Bruce, yes. worst sci-fi project you ever saw? Barbarella. Ah, yeah. There you go. How about that? Right off the top of my head. And I love Jane Fonda. <laughs> that doesn't take any time at all to get no, to that one. No, no. I mean, that was pretty worst? silly. I saw it on uh, Turner the other night uh, on TNT or something. I laughed. I said, this thing. And we actually bought this stuff when it, when it came out. Well, it was Roger um, Vadim, though. Hmm? It was Roger Vadim. That's true. Or Vadim. That's true. That's true. Uh, well, you know, too. Yeah. That, I think that's what, you know, people uh, in the past always complain about, that, you know, science fiction movies and television were kind of schlocky, you know. Yes. Uh, I think the, the current crop, uh, Star Trek, uh, you know, Next Generation, all of them. I think there's, um, we were talking earlier before we went on uh, camera, you know, that the technology has changed today. It's enabled us to... Um, do much more creative things, more well, believable I think, things. I think the storytelling has become more mature. Yeah. Rather than being just a, a, a swashbuckling, uh, you know, story in space, um, you're, you're, we're dealing yeah. we're, we're dealing with real with real dramatic issues and and you know dramatic situations that the that the characters are in that that resonate a lot closer to real life. Yeah, uh, I agree. Than, than than what you know, let's say John Carter on Mars or something like that. Jerry, I, oh, oh, go ahead, Bruce. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like uh, the Western genre. Uh, the science fiction genre, you can comment on uh, themes that uh, affect us today without slapping us on the head with that exact picture of today. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can dress it up and comment on it. And, and, um, and I think that's the enduring uh, uh, popularity of those things. Jerry, you've been a little quiet over there. Uh, no, I was just listening welcome to back with it. Uh, Siskel and Ebert show, here. Jerry, no, I was listening to Bruce. I was just How about your off. worst sci-fi show? <laughs> worst sci-fi? Worst, worst thing you ever saw. Uh, I can't even think of one. <laughs> Mr. Ed. All right. Mr. No. Ed? No, that was, that was true. Hey, I, I that was, well, let me ask that you wasn't make-believe. Jerry, let me ask Don't you this. Don't burst my bubble. Next thing you're going to tell me there's no Santa Claus. Yeah, right. Before you started yeah. on Babylon 5, were you indeed a big fan of the whole sci-fi genre? No, never saw any of it. Really? Nope. What interested you in this project? 
How much they offered? <laughs> no. Um, the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you. Yeah, I'm a purist. I have nothing to do money. with my bruises. I do it for free. free. <laughs> I do it for free. I just love I the genre. Wealthy. I don't need to work. No, no. I like the cat. Cool. I like my character. I thought he was I thought he was like kind of gritty, on edge. He had a lot of things going wrong with him, recovering alcoholic relationship problems. You know, so um, outside of typecasting, uh, they got the right guy. Uh, <laughs> All right. Now, Bruce, I got about 30 seconds left. Go. Were you a big sci-fi fan good. when you started this whole thing? No, not really. I had been doing detective shows, westerns, things mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. uh, which, but we have, that's all in Babylon 5 also. Right. You know? So, um, and I had only seen the show a couple times uh, prior to um, joining the cast. Mm -hmm. uh, I, had, I didn't have an inkling that I would ever be doing it, you know. Well, there you go. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> right. Here you are in the green. Here I am I in, mean, the the room. Room. in the war room. In the war room where it all happens, Jerry. Come on, get it straight. I want to thank Bruce Boxleitner, Jared Oil, and John Copeland for joining us. Don't go away, folks. SF Vortex returns in just a moment.